Hi everyone, in this video we will be understanding the anatomy of the levator ani muscle. So let me just tell you that this is the lower part of the pubic symphysis. Let me just label it for you. And here on the top we have the sacral promontory. Okay, if we look at the pelvis standing from the top. The sacral promontory as we know is going to dip in the pelvis and once it dips inside the pelvis it will end up in the formation of the coccyx bone. This is how it actually drips. You have three important structures which are going to exit through the pelvic diaphragm. The first is obviously the urethra, the female urethra. Then you have the collapsed structure behind that in the form of the female vagina. It's otherwise a collapsed structure. And then behind that you have the rectoanal region which is going to exit from this plane it is going to come bend down and exit from this plane now when we talk of the levator plate and the levator ani muscle we must also understand that the pelvis has a very strong side wall so let me just draw the side wall on each side this is the side where the pelvis is going to have a very strong side wall there and you have this huge muscle which is actually originating and dipping down inside the pelvis Okay, this huge muscle is your levator ani muscle which is originating and just dipping down through the pelvis trying to cover off the entire pelvis till behind, right? This originates from the white line, okay, and it dips down. Now, we can broadly sort of divide this into further components from here because a large component also of this muscle originates from the pubic symphysis and takes its dig towards the coccyx but in its journey in going backwards some of these muscle fibers would curve here some of the muscle fibers would curve behind the vagina at its region not very strongly but they would curve and a big chunk would curve here behind okay and then they would continue so we broadly like to label this entire region of the levator ani muscle into some functional parts so your this is your levator ani where we normally call it to be iliococcygeus all right because it is coming from the ilium and going into the coccyx this is an important part of the muscle where we call it to be the puborectalis muscle which is a part of the pubococcygeal plate a very small part forms the pubovaginalis in fact the pubovaginalis dips out and it is going to be joining in with the perineal muscles that is important for you to understand now puborectalis also would join in and would form the upper part in combination with the external anal sphincter. Obviously, when I try to study, this entire thing is covered with a patch. Okay, this entire anatomy, if you see, this entire anatomy is covered with a beautiful patch of a membrane. So, if I draw this, see, when I look at the pelvis from above, you have this nice, nice and strong fascia. This strong fascia is going to cover off this entire muscle which is called as the levator ani fascia. This is a very very strong fascia. Remember that. And this levator ani fascia when you want to access the muscle from top, it is this fascia which you have to cut to access the muscle. Obviously, through this plane at the level of the pelvic diaphragm, at the level of the levator ani, it is important to understand that an injury to the levator ani muscle is going to cause severe weakness in the pelvis resulting into formation of prolapse like situation all right but we will also explain the anatomy of the endopelvic fascia in our next chapter next training module where you would understand but for practical stand purposes this is the anatomy of the levator ani muscle which you need to understand